So having... You know, I think if this blood doesn't work, this one shouldn't either. And if this blood does work, the other one should. And I bring this up because apparently it's this blood. It was left behind to hide the storeroom's existence. I... Uh, oh, that's, that's the problem. I did say that. Like, oh, I was left to hide and the conductor would want to do that. Okay, wouldn't want to do that. But it clearly says left at the crime scene. The meeting room isn't the crime scene was my problem. Take that! I feel like the pull-up above would have worked as well. Should have worked. The culprit purposely left a large amount of blood in the meeting room. In doing so, we were led to believe the meeting room had been the scene of the crime. And it was a ruse by the true culprit to hide the body from us and fall into the storeroom. So we wouldn't find out about the existence of the black market auction, correct? Indeed. If the culprit had been unrelated to the auction, there would have been no need to do such a thing. There go. The culprit could have only been the conductor. Well then, do you have any idea as to who the conductor might possibly be? The auction hall is the big meeting room, and furthermore, there is a storeroom above it. The conductor must have been, at the very least, a member of the pick. So, in other words, you suspect me, I take it. Isn't it natural to suspect you, the one with the most authority in the section? You are quite capable. I'll give you that much, at least. But, you know, like I said before, you're far too naive. That was your paycheck. You have nothing, you know. There's no evidence that proves I'm the culprit, you see. If by some chance you do have evidence, then why don't you present it? Hmm. Do I have evidence that the base of the culprit? Not as far as I can tell. <clears throat> Excuse me. Stifling a uh, burp, I guess. Um. No. Yeah. No. I don't have anything. Not a thing. Blaze himself has suggested that he is the criminal. He's been showing that strange self-confidence for a while now. He knows there is not a single piece of evidence left behind to incriminate him. <clears throat> if you play with fire, you're gonna get burned, Edgeworth. Just kidding. I always wanted to say that, you know. Uh, it's a good line, especially when my name is Blaze. Well then, Courtney! I reckon I just remembered something, too. Hold it. What? You also lost your memory. Oh, fucking god damn it, Sebastian. Nah, no, that ain't it. Something just popped in my head right now. Very well. Please tell us. Objection. Like, seriously. That man is clearly evil with that voice. Courtney, could you tell me what are you doing? Prosecutor Edgeworth will not give up until we have destroyed every last possibility. I'm destroying every last possibility, so that he will never oppose us again. Justine, I don't really know what's going on, but well said. Pops, I'm going to help too. After all, he's the one who's wrong. Fine, then. Let's hear what she has to say. Well then, Miss Hart, please proceed. Ch sure thing, just leave it to me. This is music from the first game! Or, one of the earlier games. Gordy! This is the music they play at Gord Lake. Please make sure you only tell the truth. Ain't that a matter of course? I'm a bona fide journalist justice, you know. Somehow I feel uneasy. Y'all saying the culprit was the conductor, right? That means the victim was a customer. Now let's hear where it gets me. Stra my strange, you see. There were 11 people at the auction. And when the auction continued after the incident, I went straight over and snuck a peek down below. You don't mean. And that's exactly what I mean. All 11 people were still there, present and accounted for. What? Well, this is weird, isn't it? Are you sure about that? Sure, I'm sure. I saw it with my own two eyes. 
Um, so it started with 11, and there were still 11 people after the murder. Was it a ghost? Woo! -hoo! I'm so terrified of ghosts. God damn it, Sebastian, you're an idiot. You know, Sebastian, normally a prosecutor would call that a contradiction, you know? <laughs> yeah, normal prosecutor would, but I'm the best, so I know it was a ghost. God damn it, I hate my son. Were there really no changes in the auction at all? Really, I'm telling you, the auction just went on like normal. Ah, but there was one little itty bitty thing though. What was it? You know those hammers you always see at auctions? Gavels, they're called, but whatever. Like the one that lady's using over there? An auction gavel, perhaps. No, just a gavel, but sure. Yep, that's the one. All of a sudden, I couldn't hear the sound no more. It'd been banging away just prior to it. Mm, the sound of the gavel? Does that have anything to do with the case? Maybe. If Mitz Hart's testimony is the truth, then this matter has taken a grave turn. More like a confusing one. If the victim was neither the conductor nor a customer, the very foundation of Prosecutor Edgeworth's reasoning would collapse. Well then who was the victim? We clearly have a victim. Justice prevails, as they say. I hope you have learned your lesson, Mr. Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, there really is nothing we can do. It's not over yet. Some mysteries still remain. I have to, I have to think. If I don't, then Kay will be... Did you get the answer you wanted this time? Well then, a deal's a deal. <laughs> Please wait, Mr. Chairman. I believe it's still too early to make a judgment. There are still a few mysteries left in this case. Until we have solved them all, we cannot call this a complete victory. Meanwhile, the other pit guys are like, So, did you see the game last night? I feel like we're not really crucial here, are we? Hmm. I mean, it's interesting, don't get me wrong, I'm being entertained, but uh, I feel like I could pop out for a beer or something and they wouldn't even notice. Hell, Susan already left. Went home to her kids. Something about late school day? I don't know, something like that. But, uh, yeah. Funny. You think he did it? Yeah, I think so, too. I'm just gonna see how this plays out, though. Okay. Alright. Yeah, cool. Anyways. <clears throat> Until we, uh, we cannot call this a complete victory. Isn't that right, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I was expecting you to shout... Hold it, like you always do. What would her impersonating Edgeworth be like? Hold it. Hold it! Mm, no, nah, that's awful. They're too, those, those are too different. Because Edgeworth is much deeper in throat here. And she is much higher pitched and talks through her nose more. Than Mr. Edgeworth, who barely talks through his nose at all. He mostly just slurs his words towards the end of his sentences. Yes, of course. Once again, Judge Courtney has come to my aid. Well then, what is it? What sort of mysteries are left? Well, of course, there's the contradiction in the autopsy report. That kind of thing. Oh yeah! Forgot about that. I've brought her in. I want to do the old woman voice. What's wrong? Why are we suddenly called here? Did someone suddenly get sick? I'll begin preparation for... I'll begin preparing a compress. Step out. What'd you call me here for? Did something happen? Dr. Young, Miss Jensen, you have my gratitude for taking the trouble to come here. This won't take long, so please, relax. Tell me what it blazes is going on. Hmm. <laughs> Of course, we called you here because something came up. Judge Courtney, just what are you planning? Bonnie Young, under the divine rule of law, please answer truthfully. There were no mistakes in your autopsy report, correct? Granny would never make a mistake. That's certainly strange. Huh? What's strange? This court has found an error in Dr. Young's autopsy report. 
Dr. Young, please tell the truth. Did you falsify the autopsy report? That's terrible. How can you accuse her of that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Why would I do such a thing in the first place? Look at her smug face. Ah, she's not going to do it again. She had a really smug face when she was saying this. To protect the true culprit, of course. Really? A fucking what you talking about, Willis? Alright, fine. We'll make the reference. What you talking about? I would never do such a thing. How strange. In that case, why would there be an error in the autopsy report, I wonder? Prosecutor Edgeworth. What do you think? Oh, I expected you to press into her statement like you normally do. Why is she taking control of the situation and trying to help me? I don't know what her goal is, but I must play along. If the autopsy report you gave to Sebastian had been authentic, then the heir should not have been there. W wait a minute, I didn't do anything. That is what we will figure out from this point on. Firstly, Dr. Young, I'd like to hear your testimony. Why do you want to hear her testimony? It would be pointless. I will be the one who decides whether or not it is pointless, not you. There are patients waiting for us. B but Granny- Ow! Anyways, we don't have time for this. Is there any way I could convince you? This is of the utmost importance. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, Granny says she'll testify. So please, try to finish this quickly. If we don't return soon, there will be people in terrible suffering. And yet, you were lollygagging about on the viewing platform earlier. I promise you, this won't take long. Only if she tells me the truth, of course. I want to do an old woman voice. I'm actually almost good at those. There are no mistakes in Granny's autopsy report. There's that smug ass face. I've been working with corpses longer than you've been alive. There's no way I'd make a mistake in writing the autopsy report. Ow! I got nothing to gain from falsifying the autopsy report. Is what she says. See, there's nothing strange at all. Yes, yes, that's right, you know. There's no way she would falsify it, you see. Under the name of the goddess of the law, do you swear that this testimony is the truth? Of course. Granny would never tell a lie. We are asking Dr. Young. We don't need to hear from a third party. I'm not a third party. I'm on Granny's side. If you raise an objection to my testimony, you'd best prepare yourself, you ex-prosecutor. I will definitely expose the contradiction in the autopsy report. An error in the autopsy report. Alright, what are we looking at? No mistakes in Granny's autopsy report. I'm working with corpse of those. Ow. Poor her. She gets hit a lot. But then again, she seems to smack Granny upside the head once or twice. No way I'd make a mistake in writing the report. I've got nothing to gain from falsifying the report. Is what she is So says Mr. Stewart. See, there's nothing strange at all. That smug-ass face. It's right there. Bitch. Hmm. I don't think I have any evidence. Even though... Haven't we all established... Let's see this autopsy report again. Burn mark on the hand, post morta, that's the testimony. Burn mark on the hand, head wound was post mortem, cause of death with stab wounds, left chest. So, what we're looking at is the head wound. Supposedly, that's the issue. And the evidence we have to back that up is the raincoat with blood found in the hood. Let's get to work on this. Let's see if anything's added by pressing. So you're saying there was no way Dr. Young could have made a mistake? Of course. Doctors can't afford to make mistakes. This is a world where just one misdiagnosis can end a long career. I know my granny. At least, would never. If I did something like that, you'd think they'd still let me run a hospital. Been working with corpses longer than you've been alive. So in your long career, you've never once made a mistake. A doctor's only as good as the length of their track record. Hmm. 
If we're just talking about a lengthy track record, that former chief prosecutor has one too. And yet his actual abilities don't seem to measure up. I hope that you're not the same as well. Ouch. That's a low blow, you know. But you know, Edgeworth, I don't make mistakes either, you see. Because, you see, before I make a mistake, those around me have already made it instead. You see, I don't have time for mistakes. It's quite amazing, you know. It must be karma. You can't compare a chief prosecutor with a doctor. You really can't. There's no way I'd make a mistake in writing the autopsy report. Ow. Hold it. The victim wore this red raincoat after suffering a blow to the head. And yet there was not a single drop of blood on the front of the raincoat. Alright, so glad I didn't jump the gun and present this anywhere. Therefore it is impossible for the head wound to have been post-mortem. Um, well that's ow. I don't need you to tell me that. That's what I wrote down from the... Objection! The autopsy report says the head wound was post-mortem. That's completely different. Um... Yeah. I relayed to Karen what to put down in the autopsy report. After that, it's none of my beeswax. Relay to Karen? Please elaborate on that. Hmm. I relayed everything to Karen. After that, it was none of my beeswax. Was I right the entire time? It's this woman? The nurse? That would be amazing if I was. I would like to verify once again what you saw when you examined the body. Um, like we said- Ow! Ooh, well about that. She was done in by a thump on her noggin. What?! Dr. Young, do you know what then- do you know when that happened? Before she died, of course. These wounds on her chest were post-mortem. Well, this is a touch different, isn't it? That's what I relayed to Karen, so that's what I should have been written in the report. And that's what you relayed to her, eh? I'm finally beginning to see the truth. Do I really need to... So I present the autopsy report then, right? I have to. Obviously. Like... I'm gonna save state here because there's nothing in her statement that directly contradicts this report. But at the same time, this is so obviously a contradiction, we shouldn't even be doing this at this point. Fuck you, game, and everything you stand for. I refuse that penalty. Where the hell do you want me to present this, then? Go with the game by falsifying the press. You may have nothing to gain, but how about your granddaughter? Okay, so we have to press everything. Me? There isn't anything I could gain. If Karen had something to gain, then that girl of yours might have something too. How dare you accuse my little girl, who has never done harm to anybody. Yeah, aren't you ashamed of yourself? She should address those words to Blaze instead of me. I swear that the autopsy report wasn't falsified. So says Mr. Stewart. There's nothing strange at all. Why do you keep calling your Mr. Stewart? It's a reference. Now oh, I see. Did you notice anything strange when you were performing the autopsy? I wonder. Hmm? What is it, Granny? A strange man came by. Who are you calling strange? He wore some really strange clothes. He even had a frilly thing around his neck. Even though he was about to get canned. He still tried to run amok during my autopsy. I'm talking about you, you frilly red brute. Hmm, I see. So Mr. Edgeworth is a strange frilly red brute. Kay, please don't only remember odd things about me. Um, it doesn't look like Granny is lying. Hmm, Miss Jensen is the one who is relaying Dr. Young's words. I have to confirm whether or not Miss Jensen is telling us the truth. No mistake in Granny's autopsy report. I've been working with corpses longer than you've been alive. I relate everything to Karen. After that, it's none of my beeswax. I've got nothing to gain. But I have nothing to present! Other than, obviously, the autopsy report, which is wrong. This is stupid! I clearly know that the autopsy... 
she is saying what she wrote down and what is written there are two different things. That's not okay. And then presenting the autopsy report didn't even work. No, fuck you. I'm checking a walkthrough. This is dumb. Like, I clearly- it's clearly the autopsy report. I don't know if it's this statement. It has to be this statement. Is it- do I- did I not press this? I would like to verify once again what you saw when you examined the body. About that... Done in by a thump on the noggin. Yeah, any of these before she does. Add literally any sentence to your testimony. Please. Like, are you kidding me? This is insane. Is this one of those I have to press things twice? No. Fuck you. This is pit- Alright, I know I keep saying one more episode. My voice is really dying. I've been at this for hours. Fuck th This is dumb. Okay? This is stupid. Any one of those statements could be added to her testimony, and I could just present the autopsy report. But it's giving me this runaround bullshit. This isn't okay. Alright, I'm checking a walkthrough. Because fuck you, game, and everything you stand for. 